Samadru Sinha studied engineering at the University of Miami, but is now back in Oxford living with his parents to save money to pay back his student loans. It shapes every decision you make, you know, what you do, what you don't do, what you spend money on, what you don't. Uh, I definitely feel a lot less free because of the loans. 20 million Americans attend college each year, and out of that number, nearly 12 million of them borrow money to attend college, making taking out student loans a new norm. But the National Urban League worries that minority students in particular may not know what they're signing up for. The organization is urging universities to require mandatory financial literacy classes for minority students. 25% of students that attend the University of Mississippi receive some sort of financial aid, including student loans. And although the university does not have a program that targets minorities, the Ole Miss Office of Financial Aid may have found a solution that benefits all. This fall, freshmen in EDHE classes will learn about money management as part of the university's goal to prepare students for the postgraduate world. We really want people to be wise coming out of school and knowing how they can manage a budget, what can they afford, and make some good, smart decisions. We're finding a lot of people are coming to college from high school and they don't have some of that background. At Lafayette High School in Oxford, the UM organization MoneyThink is already working to give high schoolers a head start on financial responsibility by teaching them about the basics. Understand what loans are, how to apply to college, how to get student loans, how to manage your money, budget, all these kind of things that college students typically fall into a pitfall for. We're trying to raise awareness for that so that when they come to college they're prepared, they're independent, and they're able to be successful. I'm not going to have my parents to call every, well I mean I will have them, but I mean I want to be by my, like on my own, and so I'm going to eventually have to like clip that plug or whatever, and so I feel like they've prepared me to be able to make my own decision. Students like Demetrius feel ready, but Samadri wishes his university had made him aware of what he would face in the future. Come to that first payment, that's when you really realize, oh crap, like this is how much it is and how much I'm actually going to have to pay off per month. And Samatru isn't alone. Mississippians acquire an average of up to $25,000 in student loans, and 14% of those will default and be unable to pay them back. Reporting for Newswatch, I'm Bracey Harris.